Kepler's three laws are 1. Planets move in ellipses 2. Equal areas and equal time and 3. The distance cubed is proportional to the period squared. Before we even talk about Kepler's laws, who was Kepler? Well, Johann Kepler was the assistant of Tycho Brahe, the official mathematician at the court of the Holy Roman Empire. Brahe died and Kepler inherited his master's records of the positions of planets. Then, Kepler created his first two laws in 1609, and his third law ten years later. This is a sun. Hi. It is at the focus of this planet's orbit, and the planet moves in an ellipse. All planets have an elliptical orbit similar to this one, although they have different eccentricities. Some more circular than others. If a planet orbits for a set period of time at any location on the elliptical path, it will sweep out the same area. In other words, when a planet is closer to the sun, it moves faster. When it moves further away, it moves slower. First of all, what is the period of a planet? The period is the time it takes a planet to complete its orbit. For example, Earth's period around the sun is 365 days. In Kepler's equation, this is represented by a capital T. What distance is Kepler talking about in his third law? A planet's distance from the sun varies. So this refers to the average distance represented by a lowercase r. Kepler found that this is a constant proportion between the distance r cubed over the period t squared. Quick review time. So Kepler's three laws are 1. Planets move in ellipses. 2. Equal areas and equal time. And 3. The distance cubed is proportional to the period squared.